Compliments are due to David Coleman, head of the college board, for listening. And with it, listening to others who thought one idea was kind of cockamamie, that was the adversity score that would get reported on the SAT. Now, unfortunately, it's being replaced by another idea that's not very good either, a landscape which shows whoever wants to look, presumably colleges, um, other social factors around a student's existence. Abandon this. Just get back to testing. That's what the SAT is for. It's good at it. Let the colleges, which are actually already quite good at learning the socioeconomics around an applicant, the, the Ivy Leagues are very good at. They have the resources. They really know schools quite well, programs that students might have done outside of school, sports level of difficulty. You don't need a score, which can't possibly be as surgically correct as your own admissions offices doing a little bit of research. And if that's what they want to do, or maybe a lot of research, and then they'll be far better than a landscape score. What the SAT has been missing for the last two decades is adherence to a standard. That's what's going to let colleges really know the criterion of resourcefulness. It's a criteria that they don't get enough of from a, college, from a high school transcript. It also would let students elevate themselves largely according to their ambition. Because the SAT is a coachable test. It is not an intelligence test that you're born with. And thus, it is a merit indication how hard you work at certain skills that are offered and can be burnished nationwide is a good measure if the college board would just get back to that and stop with the social experimentation it will revive itself it used to be the number one test the act has replaced it and the more the sat chooses to go down a path of social engineering and political movement when all it needs to do is test with integrity, the SAT is going to lose market share. I like the idea of a resurgent SAT. I'm totally in David Coleman's corner. The best way to do it is to get back to basics. I'm Mark Greenstein. Mr. Coleman, a lot of us, educators, test preppers, parents, students, and yes, even colleges, hope you're listening.